Another dimension to the war in Ukraine. Tensions continue to rise at the Russian-aligned Orthodox Church in Kiev. Ukrainian officials have ordered the clergy at the monastery to vacate the premises. This move comes after Kiev expressed suspicion that church members might be supplying sensitive intel to Russian forces. The Ukrainian culture ministry has ordered clergymen on the premises of the Kiev Pechurch Lavra Monastery to vacate the premises by the 29th of March. The culture ministry issued a statement alleging that the Ukrainian Orthodox Church violated terms of agreement concerning use of state property. The church has fired back, claiming probes against the church to be at the receiving end of a political witch hunt. На сьогоднішній день звучать ультиматуми з боку міністра культури, які не підтверджені жодним юридичним документом і нас лише нам лише погрожують, що якщо ми до 29 березня не полишимось у території, то тоді будуть введені певні санкції і обмеження щодо перебування на 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 місці лаври. Thousands attended service at Kyiv Church Lavra as a symbol of defiance. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church had sworn allegiance to their Moscow mission prior to the invasion. Since the war started, however, it claimed to have severed ties with their Russian counterparts. This hasn't deterred Ukrainian forces from cracking down on the church. The church's premises across the war-torn nation have been raided multiple times since last November. Ukrainian authorities alleged that during the searches, pro-Russian literature and Russian citizens were found on the church premises. Russia's Orthodox leader, Patriarch Kirill, has denounced the move as monstrous. Ultimatum государственных властей в адрес Киева, Печерской Лавры представляется чудовищным деянием, сравнимым с гонениями на веру во времена безбожия. Как и в то время власти открыто игнорируют закон, не говоря уже об минимальном уважении к правам сограждан. President Zelensky personally sanctioned Pavlo Labid, an ex-lawmaker from a pro-Russian party and the current head of the Lavra. Labid had expressed pro-Russian views consistently and even claimed Crimea to never have been Ukrainian after the peninsula's annexation in 2014. The clergyman has, however, challenged the eviction and stated the body's intention of remaining at the Lavra. Будем тому, що зараз є закони, які на стороні людини. І те, що нам угрожати, що з нами розправляться, це не 17-й рік. Сьогодні є спільнота всесвітня, є якась культура. Ми ще не починали молитися так усердно, щоб Господь показав чудо, але напевно все ж таки за нас заставлять.